You guys, I just got an email from Disney Cruise Line, and they've invited us on the Disney Dream for the Halloween on the High Seas sailing. We took the girls to Disney World two years ago for their Halloween festivities, so it'll be interesting to see how the cruise compares. The first part of our trip includes a flight to Miami. Our cruise will sail from the Port of Miami to the Bahamas, stopping at Disney's private island, Castaway Key. The cruise is a convenient three-night cruise, which is perfect if you're looking to get away for a long weekend. If you're not local to where your ship departs from, it's best to schedule to arrive in town the night before. We stayed at a Hyatt located about 15 minutes from the Miami port. Once we arrived at port, it was a very efficient boarding process. We were in group one, which was nice because we were able to quickly get through security and onto the boat to enjoy what turned out to be a full day of fun on board. We're on the cruise ship, girls! Isn't this cool? Mm -hmm. Whoa. If this is your first cruise like us, you might notice a lot of decorated stateroom doors on board the cruise ship. This not only adds something fun to check out as you walk around the halls, but also helps younger kids easily find their room door. I thought that this was such a cute idea that we actually made our own personalized Halloween theme magnets for our door. We've linked some great options in the caption below in case you'd rather buy some. Now, whether you frequent Disney cruises or not, what makes the Halloween cruise especially unique is getting to see your favorite Disney pals wearing their Halloween finest. It definitely gives this cruise a unique feel, and if you're into all things fall and Halloween, then this is the sailing option for you. Night one, the girls dressed up as their favorite Disney princesses, Anna and Elsa. We dined at the Enchanted Garden, and their choice of gowns was perfectly suited for this dining experience. The Enchanted Garden is definitely one of the most whimsical dining settings on board. Now, let's get acclimated with the ship a little. There is so much to explore on board. I actually felt like overall a three-day cruise was just a little too short to soak in all that the ship had to offer. If you were able, I would recommend at least a five-night cruise, which would allow more time to explore all the activities on board and fit in more time on land. Make sure to watch to the end where I'll let you know our most useful tips. Who told we still on the ship? Totally. For day two, we disembarked at Castaway Key, Disney's private island. We were very impressed with how easy the process was to get on and off the ship. This beautiful island has several different areas you can explore. We used the tram to check out the family beach where we played and had lunch at the barbecue buffet. There's also a kids club on the island where you can drop off your little ones to be supervised. For those without kids, you can check out Serenity, which is the adult only beach area. After a long day in the sun, we headed back on board to get ready for the night. This evening, we had dinner at the Royal Palace. Since the theme of the night was pirates, we decided to take the girls to the Bippity Boppity Boutique for a makeover, pirate style. The girls really enjoyed this, and it was a fun way to get them excited for the evening. Before dinner, make time to find characters around the ship dressed in costumes to coordinate with that evening's theme. The Disney app makes it very simple to always find where and when characters can be found. Disney is all about the details, and coming back to a tidy stateroom, all prepped for bed, adorned with adorable animal towels and treats each evening made our trip even more special. On the final full day aboard the cruise, we docked in Nassau, Bahamas. We decided to stay on the ship to check out some of the fun amenities and restaurants that we had not yet explored, and of course, find the princesses on board. To meet the princesses, you'll want to book this experience beforehand, but in the event that you forget, you'll want to head to guest services when you board the ship and ask for a cancellation spot. After we met the princesses in the atrium, we headed to check out the kids club. The girls made so many new friends on the cruise and couldn't wait to go and play with everyone. This facility is every kid's dream. The kids loved playing with new state-of-the-art toys and games, and their system for contacting parents is very efficient. Once we dropped the kids off at the kids club, we headed to Paula's, 
one of the exclusive adult-only restaurants on board. It's located on the starboard side at the back of Deck 12 opposite the French restaurant Remy and adjacent to the Meridian Bar. The lounge has a beautiful view of Nassau from its balcony seating. Addy got pretty tired quickly, so as soon as we were done eating, we headed to grab the kids and get ready for one final farewell from the Disney team. As a way to wrap up the program and say thank you, they had a private event to share their Marvel Day at the Sea, coming in 2023. The girls got a few final interactions with Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy in their superhero garb, like you'll find them in 2023 on the Marvel Day at Sea sailing. For our final night on board, we dressed up in our Halloween costumes. This year, we dressed up as family members from the Disney movie Encanto. Addie was Mirabelle, Kennedy was Isabel, I was Louisa, and of course Jordan was Bruno. We met with some more characters in their Halloween outfits. Check out this surprise debut of Minnie, Daisy, and Clarabelle, dressed up as the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Our final dinner was at Animator's Palette, and wow, they saved the best for last. From the moment you walk into this restaurant, you can feel the fun. The decor is old cartoon sketches from all of the movies and shows we know so well, and even the wait staff is dressed in button-ups showcasing some of your favorite Disney characters. While you're dining, there are interactive screens all around the restaurant that create a fun, show-like dining experience. We were very impressed with all of the dining options available on the Disney Dream. We loved that we were able to select an early dinner time to help accommodate our kids' sleep schedule. And following dinner on the final evening, we decided to take the girls to the Mousquerade event on the pool deck. The girls had a great time dancing away with their friends. While most wore their Halloween costumes, we actually saw it as a last minute opportunity to sneak in some final slide rides with no lines. Each night of the cruise, you have the opportunity to attend a Broadway caliber theater performance. Unfortunately, because our girls had too much fun during the day, two of the three evenings, we didn't quite make it to attend the shows. But on the final night, Kennedy had the Halloween fun flowing and made it to the final show. She had a wonderful time and went to bed saying it was the best day ever. Now for our tips before you sail. Remember to always take a refillable water bottle. In an effort to be more sustainable, they do not offer bottled water on board. There are, however, refill stations located throughout the boat. But if you want water on the go or in your room, it's best to have a bottle to use. Arrive early for everything. This will help you to get good seats at the shows and the pool. For Castaway Key, go early to avoid the heat. Lastly, during busy hours on the ship, like right before dinner, avoid the elevators in the middle of the ship. Instead, walk to the front or the rear of the ship and you'll find elevators there that are much less busy. Overall, we were absolutely blown away with the level of detail and the amount of fun that we had on the Disney Cruise Line's Halloween on the high seas. This was the perfect way to celebrate fall break with family and enjoy one last tropical vacation before cooler temperatures start to kick in. We'd like to say a big thank you to Disney for hosting us on this trip and hope you subscribe to check out more of our family travel content like this.